In this video, we will look at solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. It is important to first notice the general form of the quadratic formula, and that we have a or some number times x to the second plus another number times x plus another number, and they are equal to zero. We can use the quadratic formula given here to help us solve for the solutions when factoring is not possible. It is important to notice where the letters come from. Notice the A is in front of the X to the second, and the B in front of the X, and then the C is the term without a variable. You must get the equation equal to zero before you can decide what A, B, and C are. And of course, this works when something cannot be factored. However, it does work even if the uh, equation could be factored first. Let's take a look at a specific problem. We'll look at x to the second minus 8x plus 13. Remember, the equation must be equal to zero before you can decide what a, b, and c are. Remember that a will be the number in front of x to the second. Since there's not a number written there, we understand that to be 1. So a is 1, b is negative 8, and c is positive 13. Now we're ready to put those in our quadratic formula. So we'll have negative b. Well, notice that b is already negative, so that's going to make it a positive 8 going there. Then we'll put in b to the second, so that's negative 8 to the second. And then minus 4 times a, which was 1, times c, which was 13. And then on the bottom, 2 times a, or 2 times 1. We're going to use an online scientific calculator just to simply evaluate what's going on in the bottom here. So I would just type exactly as is, parentheses, negative eight, closure parentheses to the second power, minus four times one times 13. And you should get 12 underneath that radical. So now negative, negative 8 would give us positive 8. We calculated what was underneath the square root. That gave us 12. And then I've got 2 on the bottom. And these would be my solutions. 8 plus square root of 12 divided by 2. And 8 minus square root of 12 divided by 2. I could put these in a calculator if I wanted to get further answers. But these would be acceptable as well.